As mountain bikers, we are experts in action cameras. We use action cameras to shoot immersive first person video, to share our experiences, to relive our experiences. And so when Ray-Ban of all companies claims to have a device that shoots immersive video, well, that claim is ours to dismantle. So what do we have here exactly? Well, Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. They look like normal sunglasses in every way, except in here are three microphones and two cameras. You can listen to music, you can talk on the phone, or you can take pictures and shoot video with these. These are polycarbonate lenses, and so they're technically protective. And if they're actually good, these can be pretty interesting for mountain bikers and cyclists. You got a microphone and Bluetooth in here in case you want to listen to a podcast while you're climbing. And of course you can shoot immersive video from this camera over here. And you can do it quite easily. If you think about how we use action cameras, you got to put them on your helmet, strap them to your chest, adjust them, change the settings. These you just put on and press the button. What could be easier than that? This might be good enough for people who just wanna share an experience, and so I'm gonna compare it to a GoPro today by just mounting it to my helmet. That's how most people like to use a GoPro, because it's easy, and these are even easier. So I think that's kind of a fair comparison, and if this even approaches the quality of an action camera, then the ease of use is just gonna make it a good application for a lot of people, especially because these are only 300 bucks. So is an action camera. So let's take a little run on the bike here. This is all that the setup entails. You just put them on, you hear the tone, and you can start recording. If you wanna take a picture, you just press this button once. If you wanna take video, you hold it down for slightly longer, you hear the tone, then you press it again to stop. That's it. Now, they're pretty secure on my face. They're about as secure as most glasses you would use for mountain biking. You can feel the weight. They're a little bit heavier than standard sunglasses, but otherwise, they're very good sunglasses. That should be a surprise to no one. That's the only thing that Ray-Ban does. If they can't make sunglasses, then they should go out of business. But let's see how they work as an action camera, and we're gonna compare it to my GoPro over here. All right, we got a little pedaling section here with some rocks and stuff. And it's not really calm out. There's a fair bit of wind. So that should give you a good idea of video quality. Lighting conditions are terrible. That is to say, lots of bright light through trees, shadows everywhere. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so we're gonna open the MetaView app. That's how you get everything off of these. It's actually pretty easy to use and reliable, and it's not as intrusive as the GoPro app that constantly asks you to buy stuff. So they got that right, but of course you can't trust it with your information because it's Meta. So far, so good. This is more stable than I would have expected it to be. Look, it's compressed. It's, it's a little tiny camera. It's a little tiny sensor. It's not widescreen like how a GoPro shoots. It's like a square, but it's a little bit taller than it is wide. That's a huge limitation. That's a deal breaker for a content creator like me. But on Instagram stories and on TikTok, you're kind of shooting in vertical anyway. And honestly, that's how most people share their experiences. Let's see how our GoPro looked in this situation. I mean, the GoPro looks really good. The colors are good, there's way less noise, the stabilization's better, but honestly, the point of view on top of the helmet is not as good as down by your eyes. The lower you go, the better it looks. And so to get an equal shot with the GoPro, you would kind of have to move it lower, which becomes a bigger pain. Now you have stuff strapped to you. Let's go back. This is really usable footage, especially if you're just trying to share your experiences. And I know a lot of you because I've seen you out there bumbling. You strap a GoPro to your chest, you come back from vacation, you realize all of your footage was pointing directly down at your top tube. And so if you're technologically impaired, these could be a better option. This is honestly a little better than I thought it was gonna be, but we weren't going that fast. We had plenty of light. Let's go deep into the woods and go fast over something janky. Let's see what this looks like.
Yeah, this time I'm seeing a lot of shakiness. Shakes are okay, right? It's mountain biking, but it's these weird artifacts, like it's trying to stabilize it and you sort of see this jitteriness. But right now I have my glasses on and I can hear the audio. The audio is actually pretty good. I don't hear much wind noise at all. Let's go over to the GoPro. The glasses are better. I guess maybe it's like shielded or something. I don't know exactly where these microphones are, but there's almost no wind noise on these. It sounds pretty natural. Now, being that it's got good audio quality, the more I try these, the more I think that for YouTube shorts and reels and stories, this could be a great way to easily share experiences without bringing a whole bunch of camera gear around. Now, on that note, here's something kind of interesting. When you start recording, there's a recording indicator that you can see with your eye and other people can see the indicator too. Now, I don't know if there's a way to disable that indicator. I'm sure you can put a piece of tape over it. Maybe there's a setting in the app, but if you did that, it would make you a glass hole. Now the term glass hole was popularized when Google Glass first came out because people who put on the glasses have personal interactions and record people without them knowing. This is not like a police body cam where it's right out there to see. These really do look like normal sunglasses. If I didn't actually show you that there's a camera there, you might not notice it. And I don't really want to live in a world where everybody has smart sunglasses on and you can't see the camera. There are a bunch of glass holes. And so don't do that. Leave the recording indicator on so that people can see that you're recording something. Speaking of glass holes, on Ray-Ban's website, they show a bunch of like, I don't know how to say it, maybe influencer types. You know, people who don't know how to do anything. And they just dance down the street without smiling and just be young and good looking pretty much. Let's do some of that stuff and see how they work. Yeehaw. Yeah, buddy. So it should be obvious that use case isn't gonna really work for me. When I share something with you, it has to do with bikes or the workshop or something on the channel. But when I'm doing that, I'm usually holding a camera with one hand and trying to demonstrate something with the other. And so let me share with you a couple of experiences that are difficult to convey using a smartphone or something. Let me take this little thumb driver and show you why I like it. Okay, water bottle cages. Now, when you take them on and off, you can use a four millimeter like this. And even though it sort of fits in here, it's kind of hard to turn this, right? There's really no perfect wrench for water bottle cages. But in another video, we made one and there were other subscribers who 3D printed their own, like this nub hex over here. And you can just get it in here and you can turn it so easily. And I keep these by the work stand for water bottle cages. All right, that's not half bad. This might actually be a good use case for these glasses. Now, one problem, uh, we're indoors and I have sunglasses on, but you can get prescription lenses for these or you can get clears. And I might get some clears just to use them for that. They're actually really easy. Let me show you something else. I'm just gonna get on the pole like so slide down and just land right on top of the stand and then we can jump down and we're home free and then i can go back around and cover everything up and close it up i need like a trap door so the reason i bought a set of these to review is that ray-ban used the term immersive video that's my territory if these suck it's my responsibility to tell you that they suck and they really don't suck, honestly, for what it's worth, for what they cost, and for the form factor, they're pretty good, actually. But for these to be a true action camera replacement or even useful for action camera stuff, I would like to see a few other things. First of all, they would need to have a little bit of a wider field of view, or at least a selectable wider field of view, because I can just see the tip of my front tire. They shoot in three, four. So it's slightly more vertical than it is horizontal. It's like a big square. I don't even think it's three, four. I don't know what it is. 
I'm jaded, right? I'm a video creator who posts on YouTube. I really, really like horizontal. And so the vertical aspect ratio is not gonna be a big problem for most people, but there's another limitation. It only shoots 60 second clips. It would make sense to make it 90 seconds, actually, because this is a collaboration with Meta and vertical video is usually limited to 90 seconds. Otherwise, I, these are pretty much ready to go. It's impressive. Like I said, it's not an action camera replacement, but you can do stuff that you would with an action camera. Kind of like a Honda Accord is not a truck replacement, but you can tow a little bit with it. Also, I said before, there are speakers in these sunglasses. So when you put them on, the speakers are right here next to your ears and the sound quality is impressive, like really impressive and it's open air. So if you're on a bicycle or you're hiking or whatever and you're listening to a podcast or taking a phone call, you can still hear everything that's going on around you. Your ears are completely exposed and so it's a lot less distracting. I don't like the idea of wearing earbuds while doing any sort of cycling because you, you kind of need to know what's going on. Now the case it comes with is nice. It charges with USB-C. The case holds a whole bunch of power and so you can just keep putting the sunglasses back into the case and recharging them like you would with a set of earbuds. It's pretty intuitive if you've ever used earbuds that have a charging case. And so what's the bottom line here? These glasses actually do a lot of things very well, but then action cameras do a lot of things very well too. Are these a viable replacement for an action camera? And the answer is absolutely not. You cannot replace your action camera with these because action cameras just do so much more and they do it so much better. However, there are people who would otherwise share the kinds of experiences you would with an action camera. But the action camera is just too big of a pain. It's too much bulk. It's too much to worry about. They might be more inclined to share experiences with a pair of smart glasses like the Ray-Ban Metas because it's just so easy to do. It's so foolproof. There's no setup. And so with these, I basically have my earbuds, my protective lenses, and my action camera all built in, and I can either use it or not use it. But at the same time, as these become more popular, people know that these are cameras, and, and they might think I'm a glass hole. If you enjoyed this video, you would have gotten it two weeks early on Substack, and it would have been ad-free. What's more, you would get additional media and thoughts with it in an article. We write lots of articles on Substack, and they're written by some of the most interesting voices in mountain biking. If you sign up on the free tier, we do drop freebies now and again. So this was a little bit different today. This is not exactly a mountain bike product, but it does technically have polycarbonate lenses that could protect your eyes. It does a lot of things action cameras do. And with that immersive video comment, they are encroaching on our territory. And so I hope you found this video useful. I hope you learned something. And if you didn't, I hope you at least found it entertaining. Thanks for riding with me today and I'll see you next time. This is kind of fun sharing all this stuff with you. When I'm shooting myself on flip bike episodes, I usually don't have a camera person with me. And I have to set up a tripod to shoot whatever it is I'm doing. And so I'm constantly adjusting the height of it, extending legs, making all these adjustments takes actually a significant amount of time when you add it up throughout the day. And so I got this tripod from Edelkrone and I can just change where it is by just moving it and it actually rolls around. So I can just go like this. I can turn it around and I can pull it up towards me and I can look into the screen right over here. This has actually saved me a ton of time and it's been kind of my go-to tripod for the shop.